This is the Honda Pilot and it has two features that make it semi-autonomous when driving on the highway. The lane keep assist keeps you in your lane and steers around the corners and then the adaptive cruise control keeps you a set distance away from other vehicles even if they slow down and when you combine those things together you can effectively have the car drive itself on the highway. Now I've got a hundred mile journey on the highway coming up perfect opportunity then to show you how it works. So here's the basics of how it works. First of all, we're gonna turn on lane keep assist with this button here. Now you'll see there, there are some lines. Uh, when they are filled in, that means that the car is tracking. It can see the lines ahead of it and it's keeping itself in its lane. Uh, when those are in outline mode, it means it's unable to distinguish the lane markings. So right now, I am good. It's tracking the lane markings and it's keeping me on the road. So it's doing all the steering for me and as I come up to this corner here for example it's going to start turning itself around the corner without any assistance from me. So hands off and you can see that the vehicle is turning around the corner completely by itself. Now the system will complain if you don't touch the steering wheel within a certain amount of time. So you can see here it's giving me a warning steering is required and I'm now required to touch the steering wheel in order to um, keep that system on, otherwise it turns everything off. Now the second thing is the adaptive cruise control. Uh, so we turn that on by pressing set, and what that's doing now is it's setting the speed that we want to be running cruise control at. We can plus or minus it to change the speed, and what that will do is it will keep me at that speed as long as there's no vehicle in front. The system shows me if it can see the vehicle in front with that little car icon. When it's in outline mode, that means it can't see any vehicle, so it thinks it's clear. Uh, when it comes on, it means it is tracking the vehicle in front of me. You can also set how far away we stay from the vehicle um, using this button here, which sets the distance. So that's four blocks away all the way through to one. I normally set this at about two and that gives me a good stopping distance. Now we're approaching another vehicle up here and this is a chance to see how adaptive cruise control works because I've set the cruise control to go at 70 but it sees there's a vehicle in front of me going slower than that and it's reduced my speed now to 62, 63, 64, uh, keeping me a safe distance away from that vehicle. As that vehicle's moved out of the lane, I'm speeding up until I get to my next vehicle when it sees and recognizes that vehicle in front of me, as it's just done now, it will reduce my speed and make sure again I'm at that certain distance away from the vehicle in front. So, now the vehicle is steering for me. I'm just resting my arm here, that's really all I have to do. And it's doing all of the speeding up and the slowing down for me as well. So I just have to sit here and go along on my merry way. It is worth pointing out that when the lane keep assist loses its position, uh, it doesn't actually give you any sort of warning other than on the dashboard there. So you're not gonna know that it's unable to see the lanes ahead unless you keep looking down at it. Now let's talk about some situations where things don't go quite as smoothly. The first thing is lane markings. If the lane markings are not clearly laid out, then sometimes this system just cannot track. So you can see here where the lane markings really are poorly painted, um, it just can't see them. But generally it does a pretty good job. I can't blame it for the times it fails because it's really when the lane markings are kind of weathered away and there's nothing there. In other conditions though, it really keeps you in the lane pretty well. So nighttime doesn't seem to be a problem. Uh, direct sunlight, it seems fine with that as well. It, like there's no glare problems, it, it's able to keep its position. Um, and it works in rain as well, right up until you turn your windshield wipers on. And as soon as those are going on, it completely gives out. It just apparently can't seem to work with those things going back and forth. 
Now one of the things that also that's a bit of a concern is sometimes the adaptive cruise control is a little bit slow in recognizing a vehicle. So look, right now you can see the vehicle in front of me, but we're catching up pretty quickly with this boat, and I suspect the car in front is gonna go around it. There he goes. Now the adaptive cruise control doesn't see what's in front of me, and we're getting pretty close, and there it is, it's come on, and it's slowed me down quite a bit. So. With slower moving objects, and particularly larger ones, and, and ones that are sort of misshapen like the back of a boat, um, it does sometimes struggle to recognize and you'll end up going quite fast towards a uh, towards another vehicle and then it's recognized as the vehicle and it kind of slows you down pretty quickly. And sometimes really slamming on the brakes. Uh, it's a little bit of a game of chicken, like is it gonna catch or do I need to press the brake myself? But I always try to give it an opportunity um, and pretty much does always work. You just maybe want to cover the brake in that situation. So back to what I was saying earlier about the rain. It is raining just a little bit now. Um, the system is having absolutely no problems at this point. Um, and in fact, if I were to put the wipers on intermit intermittently, like this, then um, again, the system works fine. If I start to put them on uh, full, then that's when we typically start to see problems. Let's try that. And you can see as soon as I've done that, we've now lost the lane keep assist. Um, I don't know about the adaptive cruise control, but I tend not to trust it if the lane keep assist is not working because of these windshield wipers. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Wipers on, it's game over. You've got to go back to manually driving yourself. What a bummer. Now there's one last issue I wanted to show you, and that is to do with sharp corners. Now, there's one sharp corner coming up here that always seems to confuse the system. Uh, as the vehicles are going around the sharp corner, it kind of loses track of the vehicle in front because it's at a different angle, um, and the adaptive cruise control doesn't see it. So what will happen is the car speeds up a little bit, then it gets closer to the vehicle in front, realizes, oh, there is a vehicle in front after all, uh, and then spots it, uh, but as you continue to go around the corner, it loses it again, and then it spots it again. So we get this kind of speeding up and slowing down thing. Um, I'm going to try and show it to you now and see if it happens on this corner this time. Okay, so we're entering the corner. We're entering the corner now, and you can see it's lost tracking uh, of that of that van that's in front, and it's speeding up, and now slows me down again because uh, it spotted it. Um, as I start to drop back, and we continue around the corner, it's lost it again. So we can't see that van in front. Uh, now it's going, hey, let's go back to 75 miles per hour, full speed. Uh, we're getting really close to this van now, and then, whoa, it's put on the brakes. So this is the only uh, the only corner on this 100 mile trip where it does it, but it does it consistently. So uh, it's definitely something to watch out for. Okay, we're coming to the, uh, the end of the interstate now. It's time to turn this off and uh, go back to regular driving. There we go. So, so look, with all these limitations um, and the fact that you do need to be paying attention the whole time uh, for when these things crop up, it does beg the question, is it worth it? Well, look, I have driven this route, 100 miles there and it's 100 miles back. I do it almost every week. And I can tell you that it absolutely does help. The, I think the real test is, when, uh, when I can't use the system, when it's raining, for example, um, I really miss it. And uh, just being able to have the cruise control on, uh, especially when the roads are not that busy, um, and just let it drive me, it really helps reduce the cognitive load uh, of driving, and I find it pretty relaxing. So, so for me, the system is it's a long way from perfect. It only works in certain circumstances, and really only on the highway. Uh, but when it does work, it's pretty damn good. All right, that's it. See you on the next one.